Today I will show you how to do the fireman spin. First I will demonstrate. Great! So this is an awesome spin when you're very first learning how to pole dance. And it's good to first learn on static and then once you get the hang of it, if you want to try on spin, give it a try. So you start by bringing your inside arm high, and you also, you don't need to wear shoes for this. It's optional. You start by bringing that inside arm high. Outside arm will come across as you spin. You take a step with your inside leg. The outside leg comes in the front of the pole on the calf muscle. So just like when we climb the pole, your legs will be similar. So inside arm high, outside arm across. Take a little step. Outside leg comes in front of the pole. That leg that you were standing on, it comes behind the pole. And it comes right above, like kind of on the ankle, right above the ankle, like so. So you can practice your legs first before you do the spin. So inside leg, like so. Outside leg, like so. That way you don't get confused once you give it a kick. So reach really high. Always very high with that arm. Take a step, swing, grip, slide down. Let yourself slide down. Once you get all the way to the bottom, sit on your heels and then booty up. So pick a side to lean your chest. I'll lean my chest to the back so that we can show audience our booty. So lean the chest to the back, booty first. All the way, head comes up last. So just remember, head always comes up last when you're doing those types of sexy get-ups. So I'll show you again. Oh, we're still on the same side. Inside arm high, take a step. Swing grip with both legs. Let yourself control, come all the way to the bottom. Let yourself keep sliding all the way down. Like let yourself come all the way down until your booty is on your heels. Good, and then lean that chest and booty up. So try that a couple times. And I'll show you the other side. It's the same thing on your other side. Inside arm really high, outside arm across. Step with your inside leg. And just before you get started, remind yourself what you're doing with your legs. The outside leg comes in front of the pole. This is your kicking leg, your momentum leg in front of the pole. Inside leg behind. And let me try to show you. I'll just show, hold the legs here. This is kind of what it looks like. You can grip your knees together, or as you get more advanced, you can open your knees more. Something people get confused by is where to put their knees or which side of the pole to put your knees. So your kicking leg, your outside leg, the knee is turned out away from the pole or um, touching the pole. It's not like behind or it's not way over. It's a little bit turned out. External rotation of the hip. And the back leg, this is um, the one that people also get confused by. If the pole is on your shin on the ankle there, your knee is not twisted over like, like this. It is so. So if your toe is on one side, your knee needs to be on the other side of the pole. I hope that makes sense. I know when you're first learning, it gets kind of confusing and a little tricky. I'll show you again. And if your legs don't quite grip exactly, that's fine. Just practice your control sliding down the pole. Um, and that's something that's really just practice using your momentum and sliding the pole. One other thing that's very important and helpful is try to picture that there's an imaginary circle around the pole and a big imaginary circle and that's the direction you want to swing your leg, your outside leg. So your outside leg needs to go in this imaginary circle. So practice that even a couple times. Maybe practice like some dip turns to practice your imaginary circle. Keeping, that will help you with the proper momentum circular around the pole. And that's what will help you keep your spin. 
so that you can give it even more momentum. I'll show you what it looks like with even more momentum. That was even a lot, <laughs> but I hope that makes sense. And that's another thing I see beginners make mistakes with is they're kind of kicking forward and then they can't get around the pole. What they're doing is you're like kicking forward and then you're like getting stuck. Your body's getting stuck in the pole and you can't even get the grip of the legs. So practice your imaginary circle, practice reminding yourself where the legs go. And if you get really frustrated, it's okay. There can be a modification, which is a knee hold, little fireman spin kind of thing. So if you're like, okay, I'm getting really frustrated with these legs, that's okay. Just keep going. Um, I'll show you the knee hold version. This is totally different, but it's a good modification if you're having a hard time getting that grip with the legs or the figuring it out. So I'll show you. So I grip right below the knee, right here, right there. So right below the knee is where you want to aim for your grip on the pull. And inside arm very high, outside arm across. And for this one, if you want to use a little forearm to help keep yourself um, more secure into the pull, if you don't have quite have a lot of the strength yet, you can use that, do that as well. I'll show you again. Like so. I'll show you the other side. So I do take a step with that inside leg, imaginary circle. With, that, with this particular one, you won't get much support from the legs. So you'll want to practice sliding your arms with control down the pole. And uh, you can even use a little bit of your body weight into the pole to help support you. I'll show you again. So it's okay if you bring the arms really close into the pole and then slide it down. Another complaint that I get from beginners is that their top arm is having trouble rotating with them around the pole. And they're like, they feel like their wrist is kind of getting stuck or not quite moving with them. That's normal too. You're just learning how to loosen your grip properly and you're learning how to move with the pole. So that's totally normal. And, um, but be careful not to twist your wrist or force it. If it doesn't feel right, stop, take a break, try again, or try it another day because you don't also don't want to hurt your wrist or twist your wrist. But just know that that is a normal issue that beginners can run into as we're just learning how to work with our grip, tightening and loosening the grip around the pole. But you're doing great. So I hope that helps give you some tips on how to do the fireman spin.